Hey guys, welcome back to Daily Duel. So today is Tuesday, that means we are using uh, Satellanite. And actually, we're doing something different. We are not tagging with Tiago because uh, I want to try out something. And what I want to try out is that, of course, with Satellanite coming out soon in the TCG, I want to make this deck in real life and have another deck. And you know I, you know I play Constellar, so I want to have Satellas too because stars are awesome. So I wanted to go ahead and test out this deck, and of course I have some plays that just can't be done with a partner only alone. So I wanted to go ahead and just try this out. So I opened up pretty shitty, pretty shitty. You know, I'm, I want to get you know the consistency right, I want to get everything in the deck right. So I just want to make sure that everything in this deck will be okay. So I opened up like crap, but hey, it's Yu Gi Oh for you. Hanzo, I have nothing for Hanzo. I have bottomless though. Just so you won't have a ninja on the field. You can still get your uh, your uh, super transformation, but you won't have a ninja on the field. So no, it's fine. So I'm just waiting to get what I need. All right, call the hunter. That's clearly not what I need. This is pretty clear that I don't need that. You know, so. I might have to go back on the drawing board and make it. I kind of just, you know, threw the deck together. I was like, oh, it looks consistent, but I don't know. And it's pretty clear right now that it's probably not consistent enough. So, uh, that's the problem. Is that, of course, I want to make, I want to make Satellas, and I want them to be a great deck for, you know, for, 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 for fun play, because, you know, my friends are getting sick and tired of dueling against, um, definitely sick and tired of dueling against my Constellas, most definitely, like, my like Constellars are just so competitive that, you know, they're just it's just a really dirty, evil deck. And, you know, I want to have a deck for fun. And I think that, you know, Satellar Knights are going to be fun. I know they're going to be expensive as all balls, but, you know, hopefully I'll be able to, you know, afford them. You know, hopefully that they won't be, like, you know, too expensive, like, blow, blow you out the water expensive. So I'm just trying to get a good combination of the deck, you know. And that's the problem is that, you know, each of the... Into the, there's only going to be what three of each. I'm, I'm not I'm not running any ukas, and I'm not running any. Um, at least I'm not thinking about running any ukas. I'm not running any shams because I just don't feel like they're that good. Maybe uka is because I like call the haunted, so I can go summon uka, send a neb, and call the haunted back to neb and get the search. Maybe, but yeah. I'm just not sure if that's what I want to do either. So I can go ahead and summon this XC into a level of chain, level of chain detach, put like Oh, I don't care on top of the deck. You know? Yeah, I might do that. Some goldfish. I'm trying to, you know, summon those summon helpers and I'm just trying to figure out, you know, definitely what I want to do with this deck. So if I can get it right, then I'll, I'll have an awesome cool fun deck in real life. So you want to start a third chain? What the fuck does that do? Once per turn during your opponent's turn, you can send one heroic monster from your deck to a graveyard. Once per turn during, all right, so he can send one her heroic monster from from his deck to the graveyard. Okay. Here's the first Yeah, I don't want you to have that. It's a pretty, it's a pretty clear reason why you're activating it. So now let's go up to chain link four. No, no. And, uh... I guess I'll get Vega. Yeah, I'll get Vega, because Vega can summon me, uh... Vega can summon Altair, Altair summon Deneb, Deneb, you know, search, and then I can go ahead and XC into my boss monster. Alexio Convocation, that's fine. Mm-hmm. What does he say? You can tribute some of this card by tributing one hero monster once per turn. You tribute one hero monster except this card from your hand. You'll have to track it once per hour. Trap before you put it to a target when this card is tribute. Special summon one dragon time. Blah, 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 blah. And, uh...
Okay, you don't need that, right? Uh, I have MST, but right so far it doesn't look like there's anything that I need the MST. Alright, so. I'll go ahead and, uh. Almost summon you. Go activate your effect. No. Summon you. You'll go ahead and activate your effect. Bring back the neb. So far, it's looking like there's nothing that he has a response for. I have to wait you. Of course, search me for Altair. So, yes, I'm running level of chain, and I'm also running, um... Uh, what else am I running? I'm also running... Uh, Dangusto Emerald. Because I kind of feel like I need to run Dangusto Emerald. Alright, I have to go for my boss monster. Delta, since, you know, uh, what's his face? Trip. Trip. what's his name? I forgot his name. I did a review on it. I forgot his name. That's sad. Oh, they were both just transformations. All right. Oh, yep. Only, uh, Delta Knight Monsters can attack if I use Altair effect. That's fine. Uh, I'm still debating. I, I'm in this deck. I'm not running any of the spells or traps because I feel like the to st tell knights aren't consistent enough. Because I'm only gonna have you know nine. Uh. Mhm. Mm you gonna sink or summon? Hot red. Is that what you're gonna synchro summon into? Into hot red? No, it's crap dragon. Okay, close enough. So I guess he's gonna go ahead and set a card and then blow it up. That's fine. Sure. Of course. Alright, I'll summon from my deck. Summon to Neb. And of course, the Neb will go ahead and search me for Vega. God, you burned up a whole bunch of resources to pull that play off, but that's fine. I don't mind you using up resources. I like when my opponent uses up resources like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just summon Altair. Yeah, I'm also debating on, you know, Kage. Summon you, you'll get your effect. Of course, get me another Altair. And I will go ahead and go for another one of my boss monsters. And blow you up. Uh. Yeah, I definitely gotta run Call on here. Yeah, of course, I refuse to run uh, Soul Charge, so I'm not gonna be running that. You know, I'm just gonna find the balance of them. You know, I'm helping to help with the consistency of the deck. I'm gonna run Hands in it because you know, not only do the Hands put additional pressure on my opponent, but they also give me more level four monsters. Uh, Delta is a generic, so I can just exceed with using any three level four monsters. So. I think that might work. Yeah, there's the ice hand. Finally, I drew a hand in this duel. Activate, attach, blow that up. No, it's, it's more of a fun, chill deck. So if I summon this, I can summon one from my deck. And he would die, then I get to resolve his effect. Yep. I get to summon this from I can summon this from my deck. He will go off. Summon him from my hand. He will go off. Okay, so I have three of each, and like I said, I'm still debating on whether I run on Uka or not. I just don't feel like I have enough sending power, you know. I guess I could run Warrior returning alive, maybe run that. I don't know. 
I don't know. If you guys have any suggestions for this deck, be sure to go ahead and comment any suggestions because you know, I definitely want to get this deck to be working. Yeah, I'm gonna have to make an emerald soon. I haven't, I haven't summoned, have I? No, I haven't. I haven't even normal summoned. I can go hack. Ah, activate you. Summon you. And I can go ahead and make a uh, emerald and put some of my cards back. Definitely put some of my cards back. Put you back. I'll play. Oh, I don't have any Denebs. Is that all three of my ult here? It's in the graveyard? Yeah, it is. Wow, and then I drew right into the Rota. Wow. That should be game. Alright, we can get one more duel in. I want to test out just like this one more time. Bear back. Alright, let's try this again. Like I said, just gonna run. Uh, I'm just running three of each, so like I said, and I, I just don't. I feel like I just don't have enough revival to really be pulling off running uh, Uka and then you know bringing stuff back. Cause I'm really only running a three call of the haunted. You know, so unless I go like like Warrior returning alive and do that play, I'm not sure if I can pull it off. This hand's not too terrible. Oh, okay. Are you going to advance ritual art something? Yup. Yup. Do whatever you want. I don't care. The hands are just here to help me with consistency. You know, now I got it. A level 4 monster on my field. It's yeah, simple as that. It's just, it's just here to help lead you with consistency. I don't know why you gotta be such a smart ass. You wanna play something? No. Oh my god, fucking. Like, oh, well, what do I do? I don't really care what you do. You know? I just want them for consistency and I like putting the additional pressure on my opponents. I think this deck, these cards are definitely good, so. I'll go ahead and detach because he's generic. That's another thing that I like about him is that he's generic. Common charity, discard two cards. Draw two cards and play one normal monster in your hand if you don't have any normal monster in your hand. Oh, okay. Alright, about to go ahead and get some damage in. Trying to find a balance between, you know, consistency, responses, back row. He just trying to find a balance with the whole deck. He's got so many. Wow, he's already down to 28 already. So much resources. Yeah, that's fine. You know, you're gonna search for a demise. I don't know what ritual you're running. I know you're running a, a ritual, just not sure which one. Yep, demise. I was right. Oh, I was right. Hey, sure. Mhm. Mm now nah, there's no point in responding with Call of the Haunted. Of course. Uh, I will summon the net from my deck. Duh. Well, I make I make super hard on that. You get me Vega. And if everything goes fine, I should be able to make another one next turn. Mm-hmm. Another one? It's all the demises. Wow. He is going to try to OTK the fuck out of me. Yep, that's probably game. Damn. Damn, look at that. Is that game? I think it is. Yup, wow, it's exactly game. Wow. Wow. 
Yep. He opened up beautifully and got it perfectly, too. Alright, well, I'm gonna go ahead and call it an episode. So you're probably wondering, like, okay, well, what's up with Tiago? Uh, I'm still debating on what I'm gonna do, because, of course, I don't want to just drop Tiago. I want to move him, but there's not there's not many plays I can move, you know? Pendulum Chaos Dragon's a kind of a solo deck. Uh, Quillops are, of course, a solo deck, and then there's this. Everything else is being taken at the time, so... I just don't know what to do right now. I'll figure it out. But, uh, yeah, if you guys have any suggestions for, like, what cards I should play or whatever in this deck, uh, please do, because I definitely want to get this deck to the best that it can possibly be, because I really want this deck to be, you know, a fun deck, you know, so I can have both the stars, I can have Constellars, and I can have Tetellas, so, yeah. So, I uh, hope that you guys enjoyed this uh, episode of Daily Duels. Thanks for watching, thank you guys for all support, and I will see you guys tomorrow using Mermel's. Not sure if Slate's joining me, but if he is, then yeah. Then he is. <laughs> You know, with the awesome play, if I would have survived that, I could have went uh, Vega Summon, Altair, Altair, Burn Back, Deneb, Deneb, Search, XC, and 2, I actually run the, the Thunder one, and I could have just wiped all his monsters. That's the reason why I run it, so I can wipe all his monsters like that. So yeah. So thank you guys for watching, thank you guys for all support, see you tomorrow.